Hi, I'm Rebecca at the Dry Eye Shop in Pulsebo, Washington, and we're going to take a really quick look at each of the disposable bubble eye bandage products. My skin is already pretty irritated because I just did this demo once, but I forgot to hit the record button, so here I go again. Um, so the choices are pretty simple. There's Night Eye and there's Ortolux. The Ortolux comes in two sizes. The Night Eye is just a one size fits all. And then both of those come in vented versions, but we're mostly gonna have to do with the sealed ones, which are more helpful for, with dry eye. So the first one is Night Eye. This is the best known one, and it tends to be um, the most popular in spite of the very hefty price on it. Uh, partly because the adhesive is of the two types, it's definitely more skin friendly. I do not mean that it is skin friendly, I just mean that it's really that it's just less skin unfriendly than the other one. So they're pretty sizable. They work pretty well as a one size fits all. You can take a pair of scissors and trim down that flange if you need to. Here's what it looks like going on. Just make sure you're getting it sealed all the way around. I used this one once before, so it's not as sticky as it should be. And then coming off, actually the first time taking it off was just about like this. It's not that bad. It sticks down a little bit more on the cheek than elsewhere. Okay, next one is the Ortolux, and the Ortolux has two different sizes. There's large and there's small. Um, going back to the Night Eye for a second, here's the height of the bubble on the Night Eye. It's really quite tall compared to the Ortoluxes, which are a pretty shallow sort of thing. The big difference on the night eye, and actually I'm just going to put the small one on, is the adhesive. It's stickier. It will much more easily stick to itself, by the way, because this thing is more like a band-aid, more flexible, versus the uh, night eye, which is just a lot stiffer. Okay, this is the part I really hate, at least the first of them. So that's the small size. And then just for comparison, the large going over that. Now the drama. That part's not as bad. It's down here that I really hate it. Okay, um, so that part's pretty nasty. Um, I have some people who will use another tape underneath it. If they've got some really compelling reason to use this type rather than the Night Eye, they might put down a silicone tape like the 3M uh, Next Care, also known as Kind Removal Tape, or the hyper expensive but really lovely Mepitac silicone tape. So that's the small or looks and large. Then we've got the vented ones. The vented version of the Night Eye is called a Visitec Eye Bandage. You can see it's got little holes on either end and then a big one in the middle. No good for dry eye, but at least it can, for some people who, if their doctor does not want them being completely sealed in, it might at least give them some protection from a fan. Um, the vented version of the Ortolux one is the Ortolux Air. It's got these little holes just at the ends. There's nothing in the middle, so in terms of some vented protection, but that's going to block most of the moving air from a fan, this one would probably be a better bet. And that's all of the bubble eye bandages.